Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, this should be interesting. This is a matchup we've actually never seen before, too. So, Sonic and Wolf. Blue Striker being the invader, actually, all the way from Texas. He's been here for like two weeks now. He's basically yes, tri-state. <laughs> well, he, he, I'm on his Twitter, bro. If you follow his Twitter, he's always talking about how much he loves it. Which I appreciate, the, I appreciate that so, so much. <laughs> um, let me just say, F-U-C-K Wolf. Not a real character. So, <laughs> I hate him. So much. But I love Ralph. So, I'll digress. <laughs> and, Ooh. you know, obviously... Pandemic and all, Ralph has spent a lot of his time not as dedicated to Smash as much as he's been playing other games like Valorant. Um, is that why his tag is Val? Question mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's looking for games. He's looking for ranked right now. Um, <laughs> and I mean, he's just one of those players who's so fundamentally sound. Oh, like yeah. he just he put in the work. He really did, and he gets it. Granted, in a game like Ultimate, where there are so many matchups. That might be something we might see him struggle with. Yeah, okay. Oh, good choice right there with the up B. Definitely Blue Striker was anticipating being able to punish with the F smash. Yes. And we're at this point right now where both of them are extremely high percent. Oh. But, uh, I'm surprised that... Good spacing, yeah. He drifted yeah. away. Wolf's air drift is like top five in the game, maybe. Really, really good air drift. It's not like Yoshi or Jigglypuff, but it's great. And, I mean, I think... Wrath said it perfectly, where Sonic is one of those characters where his matchups really rely on getting the first stock as we see Ralphie f that ledge, running away. Beautiful. Yeah, so now Ralphie can kind of play the matchup the way he wants to. Yeah. Ooh. And Blue isn't able to do that now. Let alone, Ralph is at 167. Something like a, you know, back throw, F-tilt. And, like a lot of Sonic's buttons will uh, get the job done. It's just a matter of actually finding it. And Wolf is this is the thing. Like watch uh -huh. the fact that Ralphie is in his face, and yet none of those options are hitting because he knows what they are and he's playing around them fantastically, yes. even in those close range settings. Yeah, that's how he's managed to get over 50, 52 percent at this point. I mean, Burley. Let's be honest. Wolf has a sword in the form of his hands. <laughs> great range, great options. He puts the hands on you and he kills you. That's the thing. Yeah. No, other, right. no other character is really like that in terms of no other no characters like Wolf, right? <laughs> wolf just like hits you, and depending on the Wolf player's knowledge of what to do, it can turn into a Ooh. stop. Granted, we just see Blue Striker SD and take those. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wow, that was almost really bad. But yeah. I mean, really bad for both of them. At, at this point, though, I can understand why Blue Striker is going for those sorts of options. That SD really, really hurts. Sonic he has to go for that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Exactly. At this point, he needs to make a huge edge guard play. Uh, Rafi has shown that his neutral is consistent enough that going into a grind game with him probably is not going to yeah. work out in his favor. And I mean, keep in mind, he couldn't kill him until like 170 with an F tilt. No, exactly. And we're not... The thing about Ralph too, is sometimes Ralph will just kind of get lost in his own thoughts. We're not... <laughs> We're not exactly seeing him, you know, like shoot the gun, like retreating fair. Good up B. Nice facing too. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. oh, that should be it. Yeah. Yeah, and Blue Striker brought this all the way back just because Ralphie was. He, he, like, Wolf gets to shoot the gun. We're not really seeing Ralph do that. Wow, you saw that? Yeah. He side beat and springed off it. But that was. I understand the idea behind it, but then he ended up being above. Blue Striker, and Blue Striker got the first hit up on his landing. So it was like cute, uh -oh. but I think it ultimately backfired. And one thing is that ever since that stock two, once Ralphie is put on ledge, he just takes so much damage. It feels like yeah. the edge guarding is coming out a lot cleaner from Blue Striker right now. And considering that is one of Wolf's biggest weaknesses, if the, if you're Ralphie, you have to be panicking a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, now if you get hit off stage, you're you're in the danger zone. Just a foot off the ledge is, is too is too much. And that homing attack, that was not like that in the last game. It's such a, such a great tool. Oh! Oh, wow. I thought we were going to see fair back air. Okay. These, now we're starting to go blow for blows. Wolf definitely likes trading. Wolf loves to trade. Yeah, considering. does a lot, a lot of damage. Wolf will take Wolf will take a trade with Sonic any day of the week. And that, yeah, that up smash. I actually got buffed a few patches ago to uh, kill earlier and connect better. Rough? I, I do think it deserved to connect better. Kill earlier, earlier. that's nah, me. I don't know about that one, Nintendo. Um, <laughs> developers looking... Yeah, so... Well, you know, because they wanted to promote the online era. Yeah. 
Because they buffed <laughs> him when it became online, right? Imagine how, how sadistic that would be. Oh, yeah, they're like... It might have been. I don't know. I'm not over it's in like, Japan. Well, we want people to have fun online. I'm who just do part, people, I'm just playing who the do people game. play online? They looked at the characters people were playing with online. Sonic. They're like, <laughs> Sonic. Let's release Min Min. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and... I mean, yeah, so... Uh, bruh. No. Yo, Ralph Rob, that'd be hype. Uh... We might see Power Mythra, though. He has been working on Power Mythra. Or, yeah. Yeah, he has a lot of characters. Ralph is a funny yeah, player. Yeah. Early on in the game's history, he was kind of struggling to find a character, but recently it feels like he's a lot more comfortable with the wolf, figuring yeah. out exactly what he, he needs just to has, do with it. What Ralph, I feel like he has to do is ask himself, if he's, like, confident enough to, to ask himself this, he'd ask himself, how did I drop a 2-1 to -one stock lead, right? And use that information to head into game two with a clear mind and potentially use that to his advantage. Well, one thing that he's doing is shielding a lot more this time around, which could be good, but also whenever somebody starts really shielding after they lost game one, <laughs> it maybe signals at least a little bit. It could be like, oh, I figured out my opponent is being you know, too aggressive, yeah. but it also could be a little bit of a signifier of fear. Absolutely. So let's see how that shielding pattern is going to work out for him. It seems like now that I think it was a specific call out because we're seeing him be a lot more aggressive with his movement now. But uh -oh, oh. yeah, no jump, no jump. Ah, oh, the spacing! Side yeah, he Ooh. spaced really well. And I don't think he really wanted that. Nice yeah. back here, yeah. The thing is, like, one of the things about that, though, is that Sonic is so fast that every tech option can basically be covered at that point, you know? Mm -hmm. and there are some characters where you can just roll away and be confident in that. But against Sonic, no. Like, every single roll option you have at that point can be covered by him. So that's probably why he rolled in, trying to, you know, fake him out. Yeah. Another thing, too, is I um, haven't really seen Ralph use this option either. The up smash out of shield uh, will also scoop, shift, his, uh, shift the hurt box a little bit. Missing a few reactions here and there. This is just blue strikers, you know, game to lose almost, essentially. Um, I mean, yeah, Sonic, uh, like you said, gets first stock, and he runs away. Ralph, great spacing on that up tilt. Down, but not out. <laughs> that's the first up tilt we've seen from him, really. Uh, and that move is a great anti-air. But the fact he hasn't landed one until now, I think, speaks to the fact that Blue Striker yeah. has been playing. It was it was mainly the fact that he was uh, spin spin charging in his face, like neutral being a lot, so he just called hard called him out. So that was a really great great play by Ralph. Oh no, jump! Ooh. Wow, I <laughs> love the idea behind that forward smash, but Aww. Blue Striker just a little bit too ready in that back throughout the ledge. That was like a percent away from not killing. Yeah, at the perfect threshold. And now Ralphie has to find some way to engineer this kill against a Sonic with the lead. Yeah. I mean, listen, man, I've seen him do it before. And if there's any character who's going to do it, it's going to be Wolf. Yeah. Then again, it feels like we haven't really seen any of these hard reads work out quite yet. You no, know, like Ralphie's really. gone for quite a few of them, but Blue Striker just seems to be anticipating what option would get him to. Dude, there we go. That think, was gorgeous. Was that because the hurtbox shift yeah, and up smash I, I also think, I think it just it? whiffed by itself, but the fact that it scooped him. <laughs> Wolf is broken. We can actually we can get a look at that later on the replay. I'm pretty sure there was some hurtbox shifting involved there. So that most was, likely, most likely, yeah. yeah. There we go. I like how Ralph opted to take a space there, just retreat to the ledge, recognize the situation really well. Oh. Up throw up air. I like the idea of going for the up throw right there. Just trying to get as much damage as he can. Try and make this gap a little bit closer, but... Yeah, make it a little more bearable for him. Nice. Oh, God, that would have been so big. Yeah, Blue Striker, though, back in command. That single yellow back here. We see how far they're sending Ralphie off stage, meaning that he just nice. needs... Oh. You heard Sonic scream, but... Oh, again, goes for that hard call-out, but Blue Striker is just <laughs> ready. And yeah, yeah that's, that's another it. back air. Third back air in a row. That was much. it. Those were all the stocks. Yep. And, um, yeah, BGs. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think that, honestly, Blue Striker played that really well. He did, of course. Um, all credit goes to him. Absolutely. And, and now the fact that he's honorary Tri-State, I'm very happy for him. Me I don't, too. I, I do like not think I get the right to – I don't think I have the ability to actually – Coronate him honorary tri-state. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let's get, wow. can we get a look at this replay he once more? Him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's go by this frame by frame because I'm pretty sure that there was some. Look at that. That that He's forward air would have connected. That forward air uh, would have connected. Uh. It absolutely would have. Like, look at that. That's I, what we call uh, over where I'm from uh, the top tier privilege. You know, you play a character who's higher on the tier list, and 
they get to do funky things like that. And um, for the fact that Ralph was able to take advantage of it. Yeah, like look at the, the, the I mean, the distance in between <laughs> that. But look like, at how much like he crouches. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, well, that's Great not quite. That, that, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that is actually kind of where he, where he was positioned. Yeah. So that was uh, good stuff to Ralphie, but.